This is a latitude equator, I think is what they call it. I'm recording with a GoPro Hero 11, no special mics. You're just hearing what comes off that. And I've got a Vox AC-10 sitting over here. I have this guitar tuned low, like to uh, a full step down. Like that's a D, that's an A, that's an F. G, that's a D, just about. Sounds pretty nice. Uh, these are the strings I'm using. The Burly Slinkies by Ernie Ball. 11, 14, it says 18P, whatever 18P means. I don't even know what it means. 30, 42, 52. So 52 on top, 11 on the bottom, 14, 18P, 30, 42. This is way heavier than I usually play. But this, uh, it plays very comfortably. So I'll say this, uh, if you're thinking about doing some slack tunings, you know, I usually play nine to 42s. I've even been playing eights to whatever they are, 38s on some of my strats that are tuned to standard tuning. We're in this country band I'm playing in, we're gonna be doing some songs that are gonna have to be dropped down some. Matter of fact, a whole lot of them are dropped down at least a half step. Uh, it's kind of new country we're doing, like Luke Combs and Jelly Roll and Morgan Wallen and, you know, just different kinds of people that, that tune a half step down. So you either make the decision to tune a half step down or or if you want to stay in standard, you go up or maybe you decide to go down. And it's like several songs we've decided to go down on. I'm actually going to do Tuesday's Gone in... Um, in not in A, which it usually is, but in G. But I'm going to play it in A because I. G. This uh, guitar sounds pretty nice. This is, like I say, it's the Latitude uh, Equator, which I got last year. Now this is having a little bit of trouble staying tuned because the strings are still settling in. The neck has to adjust the different kind of tension that you've got. Plus I'm bending strings a lot. I think it's going to settle in just fine. Tell me what you think. Um, I will say this, that's a much heavier gauge string than I usually play. Does not feel odd or, or strange. Does not feel super slinky in my hand, which is what I'm concerned about. I don't want to play nines tuned to full step down. It's just like my bends and stuff don't feel natural, but that feels like nines team to standard is how the feel in my hand is although I'm, I'm sounding like you know of course hard to believe that's a that's a f not a g right that's a d not an e 
<laughs> so you'd be playing Sweet Home Alabama in C. <laughs> Kind of different for me. I, I'm not used to play. I'm, I'm I have you know used the variax to tune down, and I do some drop D stuff. And there were a few songs in Grandma's Medicine that we did that we were we were a half step down. Uh, I've not played a lot of stuff that's a full step down. I thought I'd just share that with you. It's got kind of a deep, cool, growly kind of sound. And by the way, I do have a uh, a baritone. I got I'm getting one of these Pete, Pete Anderson Reverend baritones because we're going to be doing some stop, songs that are going to require baritone. But uh, I didn't really want to. Uh, I didn't really want to have to do that with a very X, you know, going down that far uh, with my tunings and stuff. So what do you think, folks? Does anything sound unnatural about them? sounds great with the uh, with the little old latitude equator uh, I'm gonna probably take this guitar uh, I put it up put the strings on this guitar instead of on one of my strats I just wanted to test it and see how it's gonna be how these strings are gonna play or it was I even gonna like it but I'll probably put them maybe on the heap and helping strat there but one thing I would say I would not use these kind of strings on a uh, a, a short scale length guitar. I wouldn't put these on a Les Paul, I don't think. Yeah, maybe. Maybe if you want to go half a step down or something with a Les Paul. Shorter scale length, it's going to be a little slinkier. So I would recommend these kind of strings on a guitar that is a 25 and a half inch scale length, something a little bit longer. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel if you like. Tell me what you think about low strung Stratocasters with the really bad burly slinkies. Burly slinkies. I'm not trying to sell these. I'm not, not getting any kickback. I just first time I've ever tried something like this. Burly slinkies from Ernie Ball. Thanks, folks.